hello everyone today we'll see the another joint that is a screw joint so basically the screw joint is same as the cylindrical joint but the difference is that is only we can provide a pitch value here so again we will see how to create a screw joint in katia and what is the purpose and how to what are the degree of freedom for this part so again i will first show you the image for the screw joint so again here the translation as well as the rotation is possible and you have to give the dimension that is a pitch value for this okay so this is a screw joint created here so this is a, this is a joint involving two coupled degree of freedom to specify a screw joint one needs to specify the axis of the two involved parts that is this axis 1 and axis 2 and the pitch so we have to provide a pitch instead of length so there is one remaining degree of freedom for the screw joint either the translation along the axis or the rotation along the axis so there is one remaining degree of freedom and five degree of freedom are law okay so associated command involves either the rotation angle or the translation length so we will see that in the katia so let us create the part first i will create that rod and just sketch on this swap so this part so i swap the axis Give the dimension. Let's say it is 50 mm. And now exit the workbench. And add the material with the pad command. Just I will mirror extend this. So let's say it is 200 mm. And click OK. Now I will save this part first. create another folder so screw joint and i will the cylindrical rod again give the name cylindrical rod so i'll create another go to the mechanical mechanical design and select this Again, this is a cylinder. Yeah, I select this cylinder. Create this cylinder. Okay. So again, outer cylinder. Name to it outer cylinder. Just click OK. Now I'll create a part here. So just again, start this. Now I will create a outer cylinder. Let's say it is 100 mm. Speed is that I will change to 80. And now exit the workbench. Now again, add a material. I'll add a mirror extend here. So let's say it is 50, not 50, 80 mm. Now I will create a Hole here. Again, position it. Sorry, I will first shift this and then position it. Just with a constraint and this and this edge. Just make it coins concentricity and then exit the workbench. Again, provide a diameter of the hole that is 50 mm. and just provide up to next so that we can get a through hole so again i will save this part save this outer cylinder now we will make a assembly of it just go to the start mechanical design and assembly design then call the first part so i will again click on the existing component select the product 
go to the screw joint select the cylindrical rod again call a or first I will just fix this part so click on the fix and then fix click on the existing part again on the product and then I will call this second part it is the outer cylinder again I will first move this to the second part and coincide this axis of this this hole and the rod so just select the axis of this so I will just select the axis of this hole and then axis of this sorry again I will undo that and now I will select the axis of this hole and now this axis and update this again make a contact constraints of these two or here also you can select and offset offset constraint so just select this this space and this space I will just select 50 mm offset and then update this so now we will go to the mechanism so just go to the start again digital mockup go to the DMU kinematics now we will pro create a screw joint here just select the screw joint again here are two options here that is line 1 and line 2 that is the axis of these two parts we have to select just select the line 1 so I will select the I have created a mechanism here so just we first need to create a mechanism and click ok and now you can select a line 1 and now you select a line 2 that is the axis of this two part you can check this it is a solid one and the outer cylinder so you can check that also from this point and just you need to provide a pitch value so let's say I will provide a pitch value of 3 mm and then again here only only one option you have to select so it may be rotated or it may be transparent just once but both cannot be possible here so just select the mechanism now that message is not popping here that is you can be the mechanism can be simulated so there is a problem with this so so now we will we will first delete this constraint we have not deleted that constraints here I will again delete this mechanism I will delete this mechanism from this toolbar and now we will again fix this part just create a new mechanism and then select this part and now add a joint select a screw joint select this axis select this second axis and then angle driven so let's say this 2 mm and then click ok now this message is popping here that is the, ma the mechanism can be simulated so you need to delete that constraint in the assembly rigid assembly and now you can simulate this so just go to the simulation select the mechanism one and now you can rotate this and then insert insert from here go to the backward again select the interpolation and then 
you can play this so in this way again you can change the loops loop here just change the loop so it will be simulated in the loop just click ok again to create a replay just go to the compile simulation again generate replay and then again select a time step proper time time step and then click ok so that the replay is added in this tree again to create a animation file just go to generate animation file file name go to the screw joint i will again give it a name that is video and select a proper time step and then click ok to generate the video that is the animation file you can see that from this screw joint you can see again see with the video only just two second video is there so you see you can create a joints here and all the joints are come under this mechanism so in this joint you can see the screw joint here so you double click and if you if you want a length driven then just select the length driven and then click ok again the message is popping here that is the mechanism can be simulated again you need to simulate this mechanism go to the simulation again select a mechanism one and now here only the length is showing here again insert this again go play backward select the interpolation steps and then play this but you cannot play the rotation and as well as translation here as like in the cylindrical joint and here you need to provide a pitch value so in this way you can create a screw joint in katia mechanism please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries comment below i will definitely try to solve each of them so thank you thank you very much for watching